Hi, my name is Uchidi. This channel is all about fun art challenges. Today, I'm going to do something a little different, which is both nostalgic and help to remake use of an old advertisement catalog. Do you want to know what I did? Let me start by getting into the details of the challenge. A few months ago, I received this catalog from Marine Lear, one of my favorite brands, and it's been sitting on my table ever since. Sometimes I would flip through it, but I didn't really want to throw it away, right? So, I thought it might be cool to use it to make a paper mosaic fan art. The process is basically randomly cutting papers and gluing them to another paper to create something cool. And the character I chose was La Brava from My Hero Academy because she's super cute and I thought when I drew her out, it would be less complicated to color in with the paper pieces. I started off with the background to ensure I could go over the paper pieces with the character portion. It gave me room to mess up and time to practice for the foreground. I wanted to take a layer by layer approach with the bottom or the farthest away layer first and move my way up to the eyes last. The background ended up coming out okay, but took forever. And well, after that, it's time to move on to the hair portion. At first I was going to make the shade just using darker and lighter tones, but it didn't come out too well. So I started to add in black for the outlines and then filled in and narrowed the lines by covering it with her reddish hair. It definitely doesn't look perfect, but it's my first time doing this since I was a kid. So I was trying out different things to see what works. And after the hair and pants, I moved on to her shirt, which I tried to spend more time with the gradation of shadows. To be honest, the dark blue tones were limited, so as I was cutting, I kept having trouble seeing them on the paper and had to lift it to let them fall off. Luckily, I was able to somehow make it and the texture of the clothes I used looked pretty cool. After the bigger portions of the piece were done, I moved on to the smaller details like the belt area. For the belt, I had trouble because it's super small compared to everything else, but more so than that, I didn't have that many brown options. I ended up going with wood paneling to make it. This part, I tried to cut the pieces much smaller to get in better detail and controlled the cuts a little with the belt and buckle area. The end result isn't so bad, but I think it looks a little unnatural with the wood texture. Okay, so we're almost done. I think by this time, I was already working on the piece for a good five or six hours. And skipping ahead to the face, I thought color-wise, this would be easy since it's a fashion catalog and has lots of models. To be honest, as I was cutting up the faces, I felt kind of bad, so I skipped recording of this part. The skin tones available went okay with each other, but I should have kept the highlights for last since I quickly ran out of the lighter tones in the piece. And finally, after a whole day of working, we're almost done. Here is the final piece. Now for the final piece. Overall, I was pretty surprised at how it came out. In a good way, of course. Though there is still a lot that can be improved on. The first thing is the background color. I thought doing a skyish background would be cool, but it didn't contrast as well as I was hoping for with the main piece. Another major thing to improve on is the small details. I was hesitant to control how each piece is cut because it's a mosaic piece, so it should be pretty random, right? Some areas I did end up controlling the cut though, like the hearts on the belt or the buttons, because I definitely knew I couldn't use micro pieces of paper to make it. But I think if I added that, plus maybe an X-Acto knife to cut everything, it could have improved the picture a lot more. I spent way longer than I was hoping for on this piece, but I think it was worth the time and came out pretty decent. To be honest, I like to do digital art and regular drawing more, but I thought it would be good to take a break from both and try something completely different. Since my style is more drawing anime or manga, I thought making something more like an art piece mixed in with the style would be interesting and it's probably the one piece that seems overall best as a composition so far. 
While I use scissors to cut most of the pieces, there are various styles to mosaic art that I found, like the Japanese style of chigirie, where you actually tear off the pieces, or using lots of small squares. There aren't any rules, and it's definitely fun to experiment with different styles of art, so I definitely recommend trying it out. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please like or leave a comment below. And of course, I would be super happy if you hit the subscribe button. See you next time.